the Phoenix Suns are now 40 and 15. They have some statistics that will shock you, but why do I think the Suns are the best team in the NBA? And why did I put Mikhail Bridges instead of DeAndre Ayton in the thumbnail? I will answer both of those questions in this video. The Phoenix Suns are the second seed in the Western Conference, and they are winning a bit over 70% of the games they are playing, which is a very good percentage. They win a lot of games, and as a team, they have a very good three-point percentage at 38%. That is absolutely crazy. And the Phoenix Suns also make a lot of shots because they are tied for first in field goals made as a team in the Western Conference. And for me, one reason why the Phoenix Suns are the best team in the NBA is because of their box plus minus. Here's what I mean. Chris Paul, when he's on the court, the Suns are up by an average of eight points. That's really good. And same for Mikhail Bridges. When he's on the court, the Suns are up by an average of eight points. And for Devin Booker, when he's on the court, Court, the Phoenix Suns are up by an average of nine points. Nine! And for DeAndre Ayton, the Suns are up by seven when he's on the court. So if every player has a positive impact on the team, then that means they're always up, which results in more wins. One thing I like about the Suns is every player is super smart. Everyone has a high IQ and they all have really good chemistry together. If one player has an off night, you could rely on a different player on the team to have a very hot night. But most of the time, they all do really well. And now we are headed to the main part of the video, the Phoenix Suns analysis. In this first clip, Mikhail Bridges has the ball. He does a very nice fake pass to Chris Paul, which gets the defense off. Then he spots out D-Book, who does a pump fake, and then passes it to DeAndre Ayton for a bucket. This is what I love about the Suns. They all work together so well. In this next clip, CP3 gives the ball to Devin Booker, and he is wide open, so the defense expects him to take the shot. But instead, he does a sneaky pass to Mikhail Bridges, who ends up making the three-pointer. Here is another sneaky pass to Mikhail Bridges. Booker does a pass to Chris Paul, who again is very wide open, but he passed it to Mikhail Bridges who makes another corner three. Two sneaky passes. Both of them had the same thing in common. They had all the attention on them and they were wide open so the defense expected them to take a shot but they did a sneaky pass to Mikhail Bridges in the corner. In this clip, Jay Crowder is being heavily guarded by Harrison Barnes. So Crowder gives it to D Book and gives a screen to him. And then he lets it fly from three and splash. But not all of the plays the Suns do have to be complicated. In fact, let me show you a simple play they did. Chris Paul goes up the court, does a couple of handles, shoots it, and bang. Very simple. Chris Paul goes forward going into a motion like he is taking a drive, but DeAndre Ayton gives him a nice screen. Paul dishes it out to Javon Carter, who swooshes his three-pointer. In this play, Cameron Payne gives the ball to Devin Booker. He hesitates a bit, but DeAndre Ayton right here does literally nothing. But I guess that was a fake screen, if that's a thing. But yeah, Devin Booker gets a bucket. Wanna see a crazy lob from CP3? Chris Paul drives in, and the other team is certain he will take a layup. Also, Aiton is right there, and he's not even in the paint, so there is no way he's going to go in the paint. But DeAndre Aiton transforms into supersonic for a second, and then he catches the alley-oop and scores. In this play, Chris Paul dribbles into the position he is taking a shot, but instead, it was a no-look pass to Mikhail Bridges in the corner who makes the three-pointer. At the start of the video, I said I would answer the question, why do I think the Phoenix Suns are the best team in the NBA? Well, one, the analysis I just did. If that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what will. And because of efficiency, everyone on the team is not inefficient. And I know I said this already, but everyone on the Suns has a positive impact on the team, which results in a lot of wins. And the Suns have a lot of veteran leadership. Chris Paul, because he's Chris Paul, Jay Crowder for playoff experience, Dario Saric, and Javon Carter. And they have two amazing young players in Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, and of course, Mikhail Bridges. Two all-star type players. And the second question, why did I put Mikhail Bridges in the thumbnail over DeAndre Ayton? First of all, did you see his corner threes? Every single one of those plays were crazy. Mikhail Bridges is the king of the corner three, and he's averaging 15 points, five rebounds, two assists, one 
one steel and one block on 53 41 82 splits which is nearly 50 40 90 and i didn't put deandre ayton in the thumbnail because in this specific video he didn't do anything crazy besides that law but you know and mikhail bridges did a lot of things crazy so that's the answer to the second question i have a shocking fact 91.5 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you are part of that 91.5 percent make sure to subscribe we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 we are at the end of the video hope you enjoyed i'm vron and that's my take peace